Hello, I'm Nikki Wire from Mount Street Preachers. Hi, I'm James Bofield from Mount Street Group. And we're in your hotel room just a few hours before you go on. And you've been down the site, what do you think of it? You never particularly look towards the site for it to be something special. It always depends on the crowd if it turns it into something special, I suppose. Now you're going to be doing four songs. Which ones are you going to do? Probably just like uh, the single Tolerate, Design for Life, you know, Australia, and a couple of others, you know. So you're not going to do any others off the new album apart from the single? I don't think there's any point tonight going, hey, this is a new number from the new album, I hope you like it. You know, it's just like, it's always just a bit wanky. But you did showcase your new material at Slane Castle. That's probably another reason why we're not playing a couple of new ones. <laughs> why was that? We always like kind of feed off the crowd a bit, and it's always hard to get a reaction off a new song if people don't know it. It's just making life easier for yourself, basically. You're just lazy. Well, seeing as they sound checked at 10 in the morning and went from the gig to a record store to do some signings at midnight, I beg to differ, lads. Here's just what some of the crowd thought of the event. Manics were good, but fair ash. Came up from London just to see ash. The sound was just fantastic. I think they turned it up to 11 just for the last set. Well, Pete Tong was pretty, you know. He was Pat Curry, wasn't he? Robbie Williams is fantastic. Managing features next. It's just unbelievable. What a day. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Reggie Watch. What a smile to our faces coming out.